If your Snapchat has been hacked, do not worry because you are not alone. This app is super popular among young adults. So of course it's going to be a target for cyber criminals to not only steal your personal information and money, but also your friends and followers. But don't worry because in today's video, I'm going to be covering the top tips on how to recover a hacked Snapchat account. By the way, my name is Roisin. If you like this content, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because it not only helps me and my account, but also helps the millions of other people who are struggling with hacked social media accounts. So before I keep babbling on, let's get straight into this video. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering three different cases that you might find yourself in. So let's go over the first case. If you are still able to log in to your Snapchat account, but you do suspect that it has been hacked, this case is for you. So all you're gonna do is you are going to log on to the app and you're gonna click the gear icon and click settings. Then you're gonna check that the phone number and the email address that you used to originally create your account, or if you did change them to something else that you remember changing them to, make sure that the email and phone number has not been changed. If they have been changed, you are going to land in the next case. So keep watching. But if your email address or phone number has not been changed, all you're gonna do is change the password to your account. Because once you do change the password to your account, anyone else who is currently in your account will be bumped out. So you are good to go and your account has been recovered. So in order to change your account, all you're gonna do is tap password and enter your current password just to confirm your identity of the account. Then you're gonna change it to a new one. Make sure that this password is super duper secure, as in seven different characters, make sure it's numbers, letters, special characters, something that's not easily guessable, and something that you're not sharing with other people in your life. You can even use Google Password Manager. This is something that I've used in the past to create super strong passwords. And I'm pretty sure as well, they also store it in like this special application. So you have easy access to these passwords in case you forget them. Usually what hackers do is that if they have access to your social media accounts, they also have access to your email. So make sure you also change the password to your email as well. And if the same password that you've been using for your Snapchat account also has been used for your other social media accounts, make sure you also change those passwords as well. Okay, so that's it for case number one. Let's go over case number two. What to do if the hacker changed the password to your account? Okay, so if the hacker already changed your password, all you're gonna do is once you go on to the login page and you put in your username, you're gonna click that tab button thing that says forgotten password. So you're gonna try getting in that way. So Snapchat will prompt you to either enter your phone number or the email address that's associated with your account. Now, once again, as I mentioned earlier, if a hacker gets into your social media account, they probably already also have access to your email as well. So when it comes to either choosing between the phone number, email address, I would definitely select the phone number over the email address because your phone number is less likely to be compromised. So Snapchat is going to to send you a security code and then you're gonna enter that security code into the forgotten password page where it asks you for that code. And if you opt for email, then Snapchat will send you an email link to your email for you to click on and change your password that way. Same thing with the phone. Once you enter that code, Snapchat is going to ask you to create a new password. Once again, make sure it is very secure because you do not wanna run into this issue again because it could be a lot worse. Okay, so let's go on to the last case which is definitely the most tricky one, but I swear to you, it can be done and you can get your account back and recovered. So let's go over the easiest way to get back into your account. If the hacker changed your password, your username, your email, your phone number, you are just at loss for words that a hacker is in your account and you don't know how to recover it. So let's go for that case. So once someone, anyone changes the email address to your Snapchat account, you should get an email. This email is going to look like this. So first of all, make sure that once you get this email, it's actually from Snapchat, because this could also be a phishing email. So make sure the email address is from Snapchat and make sure you know you do a walkthrough of it. It doesn't look super suspicious. But once you ensure that that email is from Snapchat, make sure you click the link that they send you as soon as you can. I'm not sure exactly when this link does expire, but please note that it does expire. So make sure you click on this link within, I would say 24 hours. Once you click on that link, Snapchat will redirect you to a page where you can change your password, your email, and help you to recover your account. 
But if you missed this email or you didn't act quick enough, this step is for you. So this point, you need to get help from the Snapchat support team. Just like if you had to recover your Instagram, Facebook, TikTok account, now it is in the hands, unfortunately, of the social media company. So in order to do this, you are going to go onto Snapchat support page on a web browser or on your mobile phone. Okay, so to get to that support button page, you are going going to click on this icon on Snapchat's website. It's all the way here to the left hand side. So click on that. And then under Snapchat, you're going to see the support button here. Just click that. And then under this, it's going to say popular topics and you are going to click my account is hacked. And then on this, make sure that under contact us, oh no, tell us more, that I think my account was hacked is clicked. And then you're gonna scroll down to this form here. So for the username section, do not worry if the hacker changed your username for whatever reason, just ask one of your friends to go on to your Snapchat and try to figure out what your username is. So maybe they can scroll to their friends list and if they see a new username that they haven't seen before, they can be like, oh yeah, that's your username and send it to you. But make sure you put in that username, the phone number that's associated with your account. Even if the hacker did change your phone number, just put in the phone number that you believe that you originally used to create your account and an email address that's either still associated with your account or the one that used to create your account or put in any email address that Snapchat can use to help you get back into your account and to contact you. Then in that message box, you are going to write a message on what happened to your account. I am going to insert an example message here and as well as in the description box so you don't have to go crazy trying to think of what to send to Snapchat, but make sure of course you change this message so it matches what has happened to your account and in the case and situation that you might find yourself in. Now, make sure that you do this form at least once a day. It is unfortunate because you have to wait for Snapchat at this point to intervene and get back to you. But there's one last thing. If Snapchat, for whatever reason, doesn't get back to you or they have an issue with recovering your account, you can always just ask them to shut down your account. So the hacker can't access any more of your information, your friends, the account is just shut down. And all I would do to do that is to get in contact with Snapchat the same way. Just enter in that message box that you would like your account shut down because it has been hacked. Alrighty guys, those are all the tips I have for you today. I hope this video was helpful. I hope that you're able to get back into your hacked Snapchat account. If you like this content, once again, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You can also follow me and message me on Instagram. And make sure if you have any questions, you leave them down below. Uh, you can also DM me, but it is tough for me to get to all my DMs. So leaving them down below is just a way better option. But I hope you all stay super healthy, super safe, and fall is coming. So make sure you stay warm. And and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.